Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in today's video we will see how to autofill the data using Excel. Let's get started. I will start with numbers first. So I'm going to type in 1 and then 2 here. Now if I wanted to fill a series of data let's say till 8th, 8th row. Okay. So what will I do? All I have to do is just select both the cells where I have my numbers. And then if you come to the border, bottom right corner, you will see a plus icon appearing here, right? Just click on your mouse and drag it downwards. So now you see, you know, you will notice that the numbers are appearing on the right slightly, right? So just drag it and release your mouse. There you go. So now your series is filled from 1 to 8. Similarly, you can go ahead till whatever number you want. Now this is when you have already supplied the first two values. Let's say I do not give the first two values but rather I want to you know extend the series from one itself. So similarly I click on this uh, plus icon I drag it down but now you notice only ones are appearing. That's because if you only supply one value you will only get a copy of the same value but no need to worry. In this case, what you can do is you will notice that there is an autofill options box appearing here. Just click on it and th this will give you multiple options. The first option is copy cells. That's why your one is copied entirely. But we don't want to copy it. We want to fill the series. Right. So I click on fill series. Now you see it's already filled up. Now there are multiple options as well. Like fill formatting only, fill without formatting and flash fill. So flash fill again let me just show you with another data point but before that let me show you how you do it with formatting so let's say you you know you have a, a particular font color for one and then for the second number you have a particular font color let's say uh, let me just choose yeah let me just choose blue okay now if i try to do a autofill you can see the formatting also comes in copied if you don't want the formatting you can say fill without formatting and the data that gets filled afterwards will have no formatting but in this case let me you know have the formatting in place and this is how your data would look like now coming to months uh, if you just type in january here or any month for that matter and then if you try to you know just drag it down you can see Excel automatically understands what you are trying to fill and populates it. And this is again same for weekdays. I am typing in Monday and I just drag it down and it will, it will talk automatically you know fill in the respective day that comes in next. And this is not because it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here even it, it was 2, 4 for this matter right. Monday, Tuesday and Jan, Feb will fo accordingly follow pattern. So let us try something. Let me just try to you know do something differently. So I will type January and then I am going to type March. Let us see if it follows the pattern or not. There you go. So you see after January I have typed March. That is I have skipped one month in between. So after March, April is skipped and May is put in here. So this way Excel automatically understands the pattern that you are trying to provide to it and it fills it automatically using this option all right so this is how you do it for numbers month and weekdays similarly you can do it for number combination of you know number and text for example you type in a number here say one and uh, then i'm typing in r one r okay so i type in one r next one i want to type is two r Okay. Now, there is something also called as flash fill. So instead of you know dragging it down every single time, you can also do a quick thing. You just have to come here, you know, just keep your cursor on the plus symbol and double click using your mouse. And there, it will fill it automatically. Okay. But now you notice, this is not filling up as per your pattern. Correct. So it is basically copying it again and again. That's because 
when you start with number this happens sometimes for that all you have to do is come here and just do a flash fill oh sorry my bad let me just do a control z so i'm just typing in one space r two space r okay now if i try to do a flash fill let's see what happens so there you go now it recognizes the pattern okay depending on the version of excel you are using you know this may work or not work for you i mean if you are working with number and text without spaces that there might be a challenge when you start a text with a number so just try it out similarly text plus number so we will type a text first let's say i am typing in excel and then i am typing in 25 okay then the next pattern i want to give it is 26 okay let's see what happens i'll drag down and there you go it fills it perfectly so this is how autofill works if not through dragging and all of that you can just go to the home tab and under home tab you know in the editing section there is a fill option you know all these options are also available and let's say if you want to fill a particular series right 5 10 or you know you just type in 5 you go to fill and click on series you know this gives you multiple options so you can you know fill a series in row manner or column manner as well so i'm typing in selecting column here and step value step value is nothing but the value that you want to provide as a difference or you know as a gap so in this case let me provide a step value of 10 and where do you want to stop it i want to stop it at let's say 100 and let's say 105 okay and i click on okay and you see your series is ready so with a gap of 10 that is a step value of 10 your numbers are printed till 105 so these are the available options for you when you work with auto filling data and one last thing you can also auto fill towards the right for example if you have a value like this you know you're typing in 10 20 and you want to auto fill it to the right you can just drag it accordingly and fill it all right i hope this video was helpful if you like the video please uh, hit the like button if there are any suggestions please post it in the comment section and uh, please do subscribe to the channel if you find the videos helpful thank you